Did you know that the cops don't even need to catch you speeding to give you a speeding ticket? And it's all thanks to calculus. Suppose you enter a one mile stretch of highway where the speed limit is 50 miles per hour. There's one cop at the beginning of the stretch and one at the end of the stretch. The one at the beginning of the stretch uses her radar gun and measures you entering the stretch going at 40 miles per hour, which is under the speed limit. Then, one minute later, the cop at the end of the stretch uses his radar gun and measures you exiting the stretch again going at 40 miles per hour, which is again under the speed limit. Despite all of this, the cop at the end of the highway stops you and gives you a speeding ticket. How is this possible? Let's plot a good old distance versus time graph. Time is on the x-axis and ranges between 0 and 1 minute, the time it took you to travel the stretch of the highway. And distance is on the y-axis, ranging between 0 and 1 miles, the length of the highway stretch. If we connect your initial and final positions with a straight line and take the slope, we get an average speed of 60 miles per hour, which is actually above the speed limit. But why should that even matter? After all, at the times that the cops actually measured your speed, you were only going at 40 miles per hour. Well, let's try and draw the path that you might have taken from point A to point B. Here's one possibility. Even though your speed at the beginning and endpoints was well under the speed limit, notice that there's at least one point on this path where your speed was exactly 60 miles per hour meaning that the cop was justified in giving you a speeding ticket. But maybe we just picked a bad path. Here's a crazier one. But again, we see that there's at least one point where your speed was exactly 60 miles per hour, above the speed limit. It turns out that no matter how we draw this path between point A and point B, there will always be at least one point on this path where your speed is exactly the average speed of 60 miles per hour. And so the cop will always be justified in giving you a speeding ticket, despite never actually catching you speeding. If this all feels a bit familiar, that's because this is literally the mean value theorem from your intro to calculus course. So the next time you're dozing off in class, wondering when you're ever going to need this in real life, it might be worth paying attention to avoid a speeding ticket. Drive safe, and thanks for watching.